Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will create the plate load. In this tutorial I will show you how you can create your own plate load and how you can place it and how you can modify and specify it. So let's get started. As always I will start from the scratch and we will go to the new family. We will create a new family, it will be based on the floor. So this is metric, generic, play, um, floor based. If you are using the imperial one, so this will be uh, imperial generic mo model floor based. So this is floor based. Let's go inside on that and here is our already floor. So the first thing we will create some reference planes. Uh, first we need to create the external reference, reference planes. Let's prepare it. So this is will be like we need for it. One, two, three, four. Let's make it the same size. Do it a bit bigger to understand why is your external one. So one, two, three. Here is a few more. And here let's extend it a bit. And now I am easy to understand why is the my external one. So let's go to the dimensions. We need now dimensions. Well, I'm using dimensions and be careful. You need you need to select your this reference plane, this one, and that. And say this is will be equal. And now you need that one and that one. Okay, we did it. Now the second thing we need to make this equal and the overall size. Okay, so now we have two sizes and now we have uh, the equal of that. So let's continue. Now the same thing we will do for the internal one. Let's create the, our internal one and one, two, three and four. Okay, now we need again dimensions. Yeah, this is uh, a bit noisy work, but once we will do that, uh, our plate pad uh, will be will be fully parametrical. So the one, two, three, and like this. Let's place our dimensions more correctly to understand where is, where is our uh, reference plane. So it's here, as you can see. And now we can continue work with the elevation view. Actually, before we'll switch to the elevation view, we need to specify all the dimensions what we have right now. So as you can see, here is our dimension. As you can, uh, as you understand, this is our width. And we should change it. Let's select it. Let's go to the label. Here we'll find the new parameter. And let's call it as we need. This is top. Don't forget the top. And we, we will leave like an instance one for now. Later on, maybe we will change it. So leave it, uh, group it by dimensions and say OK. So we have it already top with. And now we need the length, it's here. So this is also uh, top one. So change the name to the top and write the length. Okay, so, and don't forget, this is, should be instance two. Now we need to do the same thing. We need the same names, but we should change only the top to the uh, low of of that site so let's do the same we need the same name but we will say this is button or we will write just bot to do the same the the same size of the name bot and don't forget this should be to be instance two the same thing we will do it here the new parameter bot and don't forget this is will be instance too so we now have all the parameters for this situation and now we should go to the elevation view let's find here the elevation view doesn't matter which one for example the front here is our front view we should create one more reference plane let's create one more reference plane here is our reference plane and I will say this is reference plane, call it bot pad. Bot pad. 
Now we will understand. So this is reference plane, not just reference plane. This is both parts of our testing part. Next, I will a bit uh, change the uh, dimension of the my uh, reference level. So let's a bit extend it. Now I can see where is my first level. And what I will do now, I need one more dimension. Here is my one more dimension. And this size that that will be par have the parameter is the will be height. Don't forget this is will be instance. And we need one more parameter. Let's find dimension from here to here. And now we need to create a special dimension. This is will be the floor. And this is will be instance and reporting parameter only. So we need to get the, for example, the size of our floor. And after that, we will use it to make our uh, plate uh, plate path more correctly. So that's why this is will be uh, just uh, testing. This will be just instance parameter, but it's not will be changed. This is just a reporting parameter. Anyway, you will see how it's working. Everything fine, let's go to create and we will create one more reference line. Let's create it a bit shortly and we now need dimension. Again dimension, yes, we need dimension again from the level to this uh, reference line and this dimension will be just a um, pad hole. And don't forget Again, I'm, I will always saying, don't forget to do the instance. So this, uh, the how long it will be zip, the, we have the hole inside of our, in our plate uh, to making our, the loading pad. So we now have all the parameters. Now we need to create geometry. And after that, we will specify all the parameters. Let's go back to the reference level. Here we are. Now we need to use the blend. And here is edit top. So we will create now the top side. As you can see, we're creating the top side. Let's do it here. Now I need align. And let's align it. I think this is top one or no. Edit top. Now this is a base actually. So let's go to the base. Continue sketching. Where is the our blend? So yes, this is this is actually a base. Yeah, I forgot. You can see it here. Create blend base. So the base is here. It's bottom part. You need to use only this reference line. Let's align it and let's lock it. Don't forget to, to lock all the your sketching line. So we did it. Here we are. Now let's go to the top. We will do the same rectangular. And now we need align. So and align it one by one to the each of that reference line. And one more. We did it. Say OK. We get the something like a pet, but it's not now parametrical. This is just looks like that. This is not what we want. To make it more correctly, what we're going to do, we will go to the elevation view. Let's go to the some front view. Now what I'm going to do, I will select this bottom part to bottom side. Let's connect it. And this top side to the plate. Let's connect it. So we get something like that, but it's still not the pad because now we need to do it more correctly. Let's go back to the reference line, a uh, re reference level. Here we actually need one more create the reference line, uh, reference plane. Let's create here the small one, the reference plane. Do it here. We will do a bit smaller. And we need two more. Yes, and you, as you understand, we will create the hole because without the hole, this is the loading play pad. It's not will be work. Let's use dimensions. Everything the same. Just this is will be equal and overall dimension. And the same we will do on this side. This is will be equal and all dimension. Let's call the name because this is a hole. We will use just short name H O L. And this is will be linked to. Okay, this will be instance. 
the same we will, be, we will do here just mirror all the names and will be instance too so now we have all the parameters now we need to create the void form this is will be just extrusion and rectangular one and just use now a line and align it to the each reference line what we did before just one by one now say ok go back to the sum we front view left view doesn't matter and connect it to the this reference line don't forget lock it and connect to the top side better if you will connect to the level done now you can go to the 3d and what you will do you will just join or i mean just cut this one and this one now you can see we get the hole but it's not parameter parameterized uh, uh, like it's fully unparameterized so we need to parameterize it now we will work only in our family types now we will do the all our parameters here and now we need to write the formula the better way to write the formula formula just use the notepad I really recommend you because if you will write directly here sometimes you not uh, the clearly see what's going on inside the form formula and uh, yeah this is really bad idea so the first thing we need to write top length so to get the top wing we need to get our whole wing with our hole is here let's copy this name I just copying to the pad after that we need to do the plus to apply and here we need to write the width floor where is our width floor somewhere here let's copy the name again and let's place it inside here after that we need plus again to apply and we need to get this one and we need also to get the height we need to get the difference between high and the, uh, our floor so here is the our formula let's write it here so let's apply so we get first result always our uh, pet now we will do write the same uh, almost same for the bottom width uh, with our bottom width uh, it's here so we will just delete only this part so let's copy this part and we will apply it here let's apply and we get we get so now two dimensions it's already uh, parameterized now we need to parameterize the other dimensions now we should do the same thing for the bottom part where is our bot part here is our bot length and bot width actually it's the same because our uh, loading loading pad have the same size you can just copy this one to here and we get we will get the same dimension if you want to make the parametrical one you should change the width to the length and on and on the same here the same thing we will do here here is our length and we will change it or i mean we will paste it to the width so let's apply it and now we get fully square as i said if you're loading pad not square change the names like width as you can see here is the length so of course we have we should have the uh, the length so if not just leave it as it is okay so what we're gonna do next let's apply everything and now let's change our length let's say this is will be 600 millimeter and our uh, hole or width also will be 600 millimeter let's apply it as you can see it's now the small one okay let's say okay yeah, let's see how it looks like in 3d as you can see this is here and one more last thing as you can see once we will change let's do this like this because we're just changing only one and this will just copy on this side uh whole width okay so let's say this is will be 300 millimeter let's apply it and as you can see the size changing but not changing the height why it's not changing because it's not an it's unparameterized actually we don't need the height we need pet hole because when you will place it you will just write the pet hole 
how much you want for example 1200 or maybe more so what we need we need the pet hole copy here and we need to do the plus first let's copy we need a report parameter of the thickness of our floor so let's do that and we have the hole here and let's say this is will be 1200 millimeter let's apply it and as you can see we get our pad here but we get the one problem why it, why it's going the why is our hole is going on this side because if you will go to the front view you will see actually we not connected why is that i cannot find it we not connected this side to that side let's apply it and now let's go back to 3d and let's change for example the thickness of the uh waste hour with our with it's here and let's say this is will be i don't know 600 millimeter let's apply it and as you can see here here is 600 millimeter here is our loading pad and everything working even the mm, thickness oh, we get the uh, dimension here too and let's say you want to change dimension let's say dimension will be mm, 900 millimeter i mean the pad hole and as you can see it's changing so the, now it's time to test it so let's i will call uh, close all the windows and i will create the new new project we need the architecture one here is architecture one and we will create the floor here is our floor let's place it and let's load our uh, loading pad here is our loading pad, we can place it here. Yes, yeah, some of the elements you cannot see. It's okay, because some of the elements, it's under this floor. Let's go to 3D. Here is our hole. Here is our loading pad. And it's working. If you will select it, you can change the, um, the height of the hole. You can change dimension. And here we are. So you have your own loading pad if you lazy to create this loading pad you will find this is under this video you will you will able to download it for free by the way guys if you uh, want for example more uh, tutorials about the families and you want to get more free families don't forget to like and share this video thank you i'm asking only this simple thing